Hello, this again. Let's go. We are back for a brand new episode of Pro. Um, sorry, Lads United Career Mode. Um, and today's we'll be playing a match against Tottenham Hotspur. We're currently sitting ninth in the league because they're not a good team. Because I am an Arsenal fan, and that's a fact. But anyway, um, let's look at the league table and see how we're doing. So last game we lost to Chelsea, which did put us out of the top four. Now we're in six, but <coughs> winning against Tottenham could mean a lot and pit us back in for a title race. Well not title race, top four race, whatever. But you know, I skipped ahead of the calendar and got into the Tottenham game right away. And when I say title race top four, I'm happy we're getting anywhere between fourth and first. But anyway, um just doing the team. Um today's game is a big game against Tottenham. No, it's one of those games where we have to win if we're gonna want to get top four and above. So I'll make a few changes um, see how the match fitness is and see if there's any players who are better I can bring on and I'm looking forward to this Tottenham game I reckon we will uh, do well enough to win well I've already played it but going into this game I was confident um, because we had a strong lineup in Tottenham weren't as good in, on FIFA as they are in real life I'd say but going into this game we had a strong team, confidence was high and even though we lost 1-0 to Chelsea, we were playing well lately. I mean, we didn't deserve the loss, the lose against Chelsea. But yeah, there's the lineup, really strong lineup, and uh, hopefully we can come away today with the three points that we do deserve. Because you know, if we want to get the title, which is what you guys want and what I want, we have to beat Tottenham. It's Tottenham. Not rude, not being rude to Tottenham fans, they're not a team that challenges for the title. We're more of a top four team. And if you can't even be that type of team, then we've got no chance. But early on in the game, Tottenham getting an alright attack going, dreadful shot over on Scott Parker. And uh, the game starts off again, they get another good attack into Bale. And he headers it, and uh, headers it off the rebound. Bale United, I mean, a Tottenham score with Bale. What a lucky goal, to be honest. The goalkeeper should have caught it first time because, you know. Um, but watch the shot. Brilliant shot from me. But like I said, the goalie should have caught it first time, and, you know. It wouldn't have been a goal because it was a rebound off the keeper. But unfortunate for James, the keeper. But we um, get the attack going still from the corner. But we can't really break the top of the defence down. In the box from me. Try to shoot, and what a goal. And I felt, you know. That's how I play in real life. That's how good I am. Just joking. Um, but yeah, it was an alright goal. Um, really good team goal. You know, there was a lot of passing involved. And that's 1 1. Lads United versus Tottenham. And it comes up to half time. There weren't many highlights in that game, like that Chelsea game. It was more of a battle in midfield, like retaining the ball, winning the ball. Wow. That was what's mainly happening. So um, at half time, there weren't a lot happening. So I decided to make a few changes, like last game, to impact the team to do better. And hopefully, these changes won't have the same impact for us to lose the game in the second half like we did against Chelsea but anyway go on Harry shoots and what a goal that's all I can say we start what a goal you know because that's how good Lance United are so you've got world class strikers like Harry can score goals like that and this is why I'm challenging for the title if we can do that more often we can win games if we've done that against Chelsea we would have won and I think you know after missing a few shots against Chelsea Harry's really recaptured his this game, he missed some shots he should have scored, and good shot from Dan V, and same same for all the players, I think that game was lacking a little bit, but this game we've really, you know, put our performance back up, and hopefully this game we can see out or seal the win, and the goal kick takes forever, and eventually gets kicked upfield, they win the header, he try, attempt to attack, here as you see, to Parker, who goes through and what a tattle from Carlo Torre, I reckon that was. And then Rooney in the box shoots and what a goal from Wayne Rooney. The big signing to, big signing for Lads United comes on and scores a fantastic goal. And what a goal and Ted comes on for Henry as our third and last substitute of the game. 3 1 to Lads United. And they get attack going, they shoot. No, the defender blocks it, Carlo Torre, what a 
good defending and easy capturing James Carlo Toro really being solid this game for us. I reckon he may be man of the match because he's been playing like Vincent Company plays for Man City, just leading the back, and that's what he's been doing this game for us. I reckon it would be three two to us still, even if we if we didn't play Carlo Toro because he's really been solid for us. One good shot from Ole. The rebound was really bad and offside. So that's we should have left that to go for a corner. Scott Park comes up from Dembele um, in the top of the lineup. And Oli goes forward, passes to Lewis, he takes a shot, deflected by the defender, Danvi passes, shoot. Ah, oh, unlucky Lewis. Getting forward, a very good right back to get forward. Maybe should be a right midfielder, I believe. But Dan, unfortunately a bit slow reaction for the tackle. Carlo Torre, will he rescue the day? Yes he will. Carlo Torre really informed, but then he tackles Dan. No, Dan's on our team. And then James makes a simple catch and clears it upfield to Rooney. Rooney runs the ball and he gets tackled. Uh, and that's the end of the game. 3 1 to Lash you know, What a result, though. I'm not being cocky anyway. Well done to Oli, man, the match. Why? I think he got like all assists. No, he got two assists. But what a game. Cracking points. Not just because we won 3 1. The performance was good. We should have won 5-1, I even think, because the passing midfield was brilliant. Everyone on the pitch played well. Not many highlights because of chances we took. We were clinical. Tottenham had quite now quite a few chances just to only score one, but they weren't clinical. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the series, and I hope you enjoyed how our team played today, because they were top class. And if you enjoyed the episode, please like and subscribe. It's always appreciated. This has been Mitch with Lads United Korean Mode, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode.